We all love to eat fried foods, pakora, samosas, puris and what not. And we always find it so difficult to let go of things. Yeah. We reuse so many old things. We reuse old clothes, old furniture. And we reuse cooking oil that has already been used, don't we? Whenever I reuse oil, one question always comes to my mind. Whether or not reusing cooking oil is a good habit. I mean in terms of health, is it okay to reuse a cooking oil that has already been used? Let's find it out in this video of Sciences <laughs> You are watching Sciencey Soup on YouTube. I'm Arohi. And I am Ankit. Me and Arohi both are trained scientists and we make science based videos on this channel. Before we make any video, we do thorough analysis and review of scientifically proven data from across the world. In the description of each video, we give the links of all the research papers that we use in our analysis. Remember, before believing any video you watch online, you should always look for the primary sources of information. If there is no reference, there are chances that the video might just be a cooked up story for publicity. And therefore, we highly recommend that whenever you watch our videos or any other online video for that matter, do check the sources of information. That's how we can together stop the spread of misinformation and fake stories. Now, let's jump straight into today's topic. First of all, let's see what happens when we heat oil to fry any food. During cooking, the temperature of the oil increases. If the cooking temperature is not controlled, the oil will reach a temperature at which its components start oxidizing. This is called the oxidation temperature. At this temperature, a number of physiochemical changes occur in oils. Before we go on to discuss these changes, we need to first understand the composition of oil. What are oils made of? The main component of cooking oil is triglyceride, which is basically a combination of glycerol and fatty acids. There are a lot of other components which are present in tiny amounts. These include mono and diglycerides, free fatty acids, phosphatides, sterols, fat soluble vitamins such as vitamin E, tocopherols, pigments, waxes and fatty alcohols. At the oxidation temperature, the main component of any oil that is diglycerides are oxidized and they form free radicals. Along with free radicals, Several volatile substances, free fatty acids, diglycerides and monoglycerides are formed. Moreover, high temperatures also degrade some nutrients present in the oil, such as vitamin E. These are the changes in the physiochemical properties of oil. But do these changes have any effect on our body? To find out the effects of consumption of used cooking oils on health, there are a lot of studies done on lab animals. Most of the experiments conclude that long-term consumption of used cooking oils can cause adverse effect on our health. The free radicals formed during the oxidation of oils can damage tissues, fats and DNA of our body which may lead to severe diseases like blood pressure disorders, high level of cholesterol, heart diseases, type 2 diabetes, Alzheimer's and in some extreme cases it may even cause cancer. Oil may become injurious if it stays at or above its oxidation temperature for long periods of time. But how do we know if the oil has reached its oxidation temperature? There is a way. All oils have specific smoke points. Smoke point is the temperature at which oils start producing smoke. For most oils, the oxidation temperature is close to the smoke point. So, while cooking your food, if you see smoke coming out from the oil, it means that the oil has reached its oxidation temperature and it's time to turn off the flame quickly and bring the temperature down before you start cooking again. You don't have to throw away the oil just because you saw some smoke coming out of the oil. To figure out if the oil is still usable or not, you need to look out for some physical properties of the oil. If the oil becomes darker in color, smells differently or becomes thicker in texture, it means that it's time to discard the oil. Now it's time for today's home message. Consuming used cooking oil quite often may have adverse effects on our health. There is no thumb rule that how many times you can reuse oil. But if you see changes in the oil, you should definitely discard it. Also, we suggest not to reuse oil more than twice. And if you have been using oil for more than one hour, it's best to discard it. Each oil is different and each one has a different smoke point. We have compiled a list of some common cooking oils and their smoke points. You can find it in the description of this video. Remember, for deep frying, 
Oils with higher smoke points are always better because they degrade at a much slower pace. For deep frying, refined oil should be used as they have higher smoke points. Unrefined oil, which are also known as virgin oil, should be used for salad dressings and low temperature cooking. Unrefined oil should not be used for deep frying as their smoke points are quite low. To avoid any chemical changes in the oil, the frying temperatures should be kept as low as possible. Obviously, it should be high enough to fry the food, but not so high that it burns the oil. And that's it for today's video. If you learned something new today about cooking oils, please hit the like button and share this information with your family and friends. For more such videos, please subscribe to our channel Sciency Soup and press the bell icon to get notified every time we post a new video. We will keep bringing science to you in very simple language. Because if science is not your cup of tea, here comes your bowl of Sciency Soup. We will see you in the next video. Till then, take care. And stay curious.